my name is Christina Ng and I am a pastry chef. I am very excited this year to be partnering up with Vitasoy in their Baking with Tofu uh, campaign. And today's recipe is going to be red bean tofu donuts and they're super moist and super yummy. This recipe includes a little bit of the blended silk and sansoy tofu, which is really good because it's gonna keep the donuts really moist. And um, this is a really quick and easy recipe. The first thing that we're going to be doing is um, combining our dry ingredients together. So I'm just going to mix that together with a fork. Okay. And then in a mixer on medium, I will be creaming together a little bit of butter and then six tablespoons of sugar. So there's not a lot of butter here, so you might have to scrape down the mixer a little bit. To this creamed butter and sugar mixture, I am going to add my wet ingredients. So I have one egg, I have some apple cider, and I am adding a quarter cup of the pureed silken tofu that I have blended a little earlier. And then on low speed first, and then on medium you want to just get this all together. Okay, so once you have all the wet ingredients mixed together, you just want to put all of your dry ingredients into the bowl. And then on low speed first, so that you don't get flour all over your face, you want to mix it a little bit and then move it up to medium until the dough starts coming together. And it's going to be a fairly wet dough, so be on the lookout for that. So my dough is all set, and with well-floured hands, I'm just going to Grab a little bit of dough and roll them into golf ball size shaped balls. And you do want to make sure that when you do flatten it, that it is between that quarter inch to half inch mark because if you don't, then the donuts have a tendency of being raw in the middle. So we're on to frying some donuts. I have my oil at 375, medium to medium high. And just be careful when you're dropping them in. They're not don't splatter too much. So you're looking for a golden brown color, so that should be about 45 seconds to a minute per side. And these look really awesome, nice and golden brown and puffy. And then once they've had about a minute or two to drain, I'm going to be rolling them in a little bit of granulated sugar. All right, so these guys are still a little bit warm, but a little bit of the oil on it and the heat will help it kind of adhere to the granulated sugar better. And then you can give these a couple more minutes to cool, but definitely you want to be filling them when they're still slightly hot, otherwise they get a little too hard to fill. Okay, so now I'm gonna be making that red bean paste for uh, the filling for my donuts. And it's actually super, super easy. I have some red bean paste already that you can actually buy from a, in a can in a grocery store. And um, I'm going to add just a little bit of the uh, Vita Soy refrigerated unsweetened soy milk to it, just a little bit at a time, just until the paste gets to a pipeable consistency. And it's really nice too, because sometimes I find that the red bean paste is a little bit sweet, so the Vita Soy soy milk kind of makes it not only creamier, but it kind of balances out the flavor and it evens it out a little bit. So you can see right now that it's at a pretty smooth, pretty pipeable consistency. And then we're just gonna fill up the donuts. This is really as much or as little as you want, but it does add a nice creaminess and a nice moistness to the donuts. Sometimes they do explode, so you gotta be careful. And I bet you guys wanna see one broken open, so let me just break one open for you so you can see and just how moist the insides are. For this recipe and more like it, visit myvitasoy.com and uh, bake better with tofu.